Absolutely. All right. So, guys, I'm here with uh, my good friend Cliff Felden, who's uh, got a what is it, a playoff sectional or something like that today? Yeah, sectional. Sectional uh, playoff match up in uh, Napa, and uh, you know we're 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 at the Berkeley Tennis Club, and you know one of the things I've always thought, and I know just from results, is that you know you got to have a purposeful warm up uh, prior to your match, whether it's even just a you know seasonal league match or something. Um, you got to get out there and have a purpose to your to to your warm up. But I see way too many players. Number one, they don't have a warm up, or number two, they just kind of go through the slot motion and don't really get anything done. So, Clifford, right. tell the web tennis fans and me what you were thinking about today in terms of, you know, what you wanted to get done with your warm up. Well, first of all, I want to warm up my body and get some rhythm into uh, you know where to be, good spacing on the ball. And so at the end of the warm-up, I want to be just reacting, swinging, committing, and letting go. Not crazy, yeah. but, uh, you know, with purpose. And if you don't warm up and your muscles are cold and everything is just, you haven't done it in a while, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. And so that was the first thing. And then the second thing is I kind of wanted to work on... Uh, one thing I haven't been doing very well is moving in. So I wanted to work on moving in. Hit a ball and move in and take it before it bounces. That's good. That's so good. That was kind of what I was working on. Yeah, yeah, well, that's cool. So, you know, I, I, I love what Cliff said is number one is, uh, you know, get the feet moving so that your brain thinks that, uh, you know, the number one priority is to get space into the path of the incoming ball. I don't care how great your strokes are. If you don't have the spacing, then you're just kind of improvising those strokes all the time. And you certainly don't want your brain thinking that once you start playing a match. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, I mean, that's the one thing I have to do every day is remind myself of the importance of uh, footwork to create that spacing so that, you know, stroke technique gets to be simplified. Right. That was the greatness of uh, Kenny Rosewall. That's Always right. Always in position to hit the ball. That's, That's right. Why every stroke looked exactly the same. Why? Because his feet moved and put him in position to hit the same stroke. That's great. That's great. All right, man. Well, listen, good luck today. Thank you. Go get Thank him, you. and uh, we'll be pulling for you. Guys, uh, three things. Uh, number one, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you got to get uh, subscribed because uh, you'll get notified every time I post a, a new video, whether it's like this or you know, more formal instruction, uh, and there's a, su a subscribe button somewhere here uh, on the video. YouTube seems to move it around a lot. Number two, uh, I got a free course for you, my Top Spin Serve course. All you got to do is go over to webtennis.com, and you'll get my free serve course. You got to have a Top Spin Second Serve, man, uh, or else, uh, you know, trouble. And then the third thing is I'd love to read your comments or questions or feedback down below this video. Uh, in the comment section, you know, let me know what's going on with your game. Is there one thing that you're kind of working on? You know, maybe one thing that you're just absolutely freaking fed up with that you can't figure out. So let me know. And then, as always, come on, got to get out there today and make it another spectacular day. All right, guys, talk again soon.